race to win the sailing podcast where we discuss winning tactics, race strategies, and more. Today, I'm going to show you how to use GeoVids to evaluate your sail shape, just like the pros, totally for free. In case you're just joining us, GeoVids is where you combine action camera footage, like from a GoPro, with the RaceQ's 3D replay. So instead of seeing just a 3D replay, you see both your camera footage and the replay synced side by side. The opportunities for advanced analytics are really endless with GeoVids. Um, for example, we have now started creating masthead GeoVids, the view from the top. It's pretty cool. So I bet you're wondering how the heck we got this camera angle. Um, it's really pretty simple. Most mainsails have a hard structural headboard right where you attach the halyard. So all we did was bolt a regular GoPro mount directly onto that headboard. We also glued it just to be extra safe. Um, we have tested this in up to about 30 knots of wind and the thing has stayed mounted even with some flogging of the main. But that being said, you might want to install some sort of safety lanyard just in case. And obviously, if your GoPro falls off your main, don't blame me. It's not my fault. Um, this is just an idea that we've had and has been working really well. So just attach the mount to the headboard, put on your GoPro, and raise the mainsail like usual. It's a pretty nifty way to get a masthead video. So one thing that's come up a bit is when people are using GeoVids, they think they have to use a GoPro. You can upload any video from an action camera that you want. Um, we just like GoPro because it's the smallest and lightest camera. And when you're putting your camera at the top of your mast, you really don't want a big heavy camera just hanging on for dear life up there. We like the low profile of the GoPro personally. And we also like that it has Wi-Fi probably sounds a little ridiculous. Why do I need Wi-Fi on my camera on my boat? Well, when you have your camera at the top of your mast, it's really nice to be able to start and stop it without having to bring the main up and down. So Wi-Fi lets you do all that remotely. It also syncs the time in the camera with the time in your phone so that you don't have issues with timestamps and syncing later on in GeoVids. Our testers found that with Wi-Fi on, the battery lasted about one and a half to two hours. And with the Wi-Fi off, it lasted about three hours. So depending on your point of sail and your tack, you're going to get a lot of different vantage points and angles on both the main and the jib and your crew below. This technology has about a million different applications, and I'm pretty excited about all of our upcoming podcasts discussing it with sailmakers and other experts in the field. In the meantime, I want to show you how to analyze your sail shape for free using your GeoVid and another free tool called AccuMeasure by UK Halsey Sailmakers. So the first step to analyzing your sail shape on your own is to create one of these masthead geovids by putting the camera at the top of the mast, running it, and then also running your race cues phone app. Come back, upload everything to your computer, and the geovid software will give you this synced image. Now, Go through and pick some moments that you want to analyze your sail shape. Maybe you see that your speed has dropped a bunch and you are not sure why and you're wondering if maybe on this tack your trim wasn't as good as it could have been. So when you find that moment, just pause your video and then you're going to just make a screenshot of that time in your video. So save your print screen and then you need to download the tool from UK Halsey Sailmakers. AccuMeasure. So it's a quick, easy download. Um, open it up and then open up your picture that you just grabbed. Now you need to match up each spline to the upper, middle, and lower draft stripes. It's really easy. The only hard part I found is that you have to move each corner individually. You can't drag the whole thing across the screen. So you're going to pin the upper, middle, and lower like you see me doing here and you want to make your best guess for the ends like you can see on my upper stripe it's kind of behind the forestay there so I just sort of guess and then use the other controls to get it as close to my draft stripe as possible. So after you pin everything AccuMeasure calculates the information about your draft, position, the twist and it also gives you your 75% and 15% on your camera. 
so for some people that are into analyzing this kind of stuff, this is really exciting. If this is a little bit over your head, don't worry. I'm going to do another podcast with a sale maker explaining to you just why this is important. But for today, I just wanted to show you this because I think it is really a cool way to be able to analyze your sale trim. Hey, and if you have a minute, I'd really appreciate it if you went in and gave us a review on iTunes and shared our podcast with your friends. See you next time. If you enjoyed this podcast, you can find more on our website, www.racecues.com slash podcast, or search for Race Cues on iTunes and click subscribe.